In a world where women are harshly critiqued for their style, what do you wear to feel powerful? In this episode of Style and Error, we're exploring the most mighty fuck you to the patriarchy that the female fashion world has to offer, the power suit. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How's that? That was very direct, is what it was. This was my daily driver for two years in the city, and one time I was driving and it, the speedo cable wrapped around the, whatever the fuck that is. My name is Rachel Finley, AKA Steak. And the wheel I live in beautiful Burbank, California. So my speedometer no longer works because I never got that replaced. I run Teenage, a clothing company with my husband. And like any wise person who puts their love of fried food before their feminist principles, I'm a big fan of Hooters pickle chips. I also have a popular advice column. A lot of questions about porn. Chanel brought us the tailored women's suit in the 1920s, but the 80s brought us the power suit, just as women began entering the corporate workforce. When I think of a power suit, I think of Joan Collins, Melanie Griffith, Working Girl, and other righteous ladies from the 80s who wore big shoulder blazers. Although I normally rock tees and leggings to work, I wanted to see how a tailored power suit would make me feel. Could I ever pull off the look? So now we're at Decades on Melrose Avenue in Los Angeles. It's a really cool vintage consignment store. They're gonna let us try on some of their power suits and I brought my friend Casey along uh, for moral support because that's what I need when I'm touching $10,000 garments. Hi, I'm Steak. Thanks for letting us come into I'm, your store. I'm Jared. I was yes. afraid to come into such a, such a luxurious business. Well, I don't like to think Decades is that, <laughs> you know, I don't want to scare people off. So. These are more like business suits. Ladies' um. business wear and ladies' <laughs> resort wear. Well, I would say, I mean, these are ladies who like the lunch. The yeah. Chanel ladies are definitely like the lunch. But they did create an element of uh, authority in some ways. I mean, you know, men wear suits for a reason. It's almost okay. like an armor. Um, would you mind if we figured out which particular woman you we were and tried some on? Yeah, you could try any of cool. them on. I kind of want to see you in a lady that lunches. This one's tight. This one is tight. I don't know if it'll fit me. My huge ass. You would look pretty good in that one. You think it's my Tevas? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll do the I'll do the lady who lunches. Do we, maybe and possibly we should do one does of each. Both has a coat baggy in her little purse. Yeah. Um, first thing we learned about ladies who lunch is that they are very small people. So aspirations to be ladies who lunch. Mm -hmm. They look like Daria plus her grandmother. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. Um, this is just like straight up high school counselor. But like the but, sexy one that someone wants to fuck. Oh, uh, okay. I'll take it. I do feel like I'm scary. You look like um, the headmaster yes. of Hogwarts. The suits of Decades were gorgeous, but way out of my budget. Turns out that power, like Dom Perignon and vaginoplasty, is often reserved for the rich. Luckily, someone tipped me off to Play Clothes, a vintage shop in Burbank that sells beautiful power suits for reasonable prices. I'm Steak. Hi, Sarah. Nice to um, meet you. I'm on a mission to find a power suit. Okay. Are you thinking any specific de time period or decade? Maybe okay. 80s. Let me kind of show 80s you around seems the. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. Let me show you around the store a little okay. bit. Um, I don't really know if 80s. I was just a shot in the dark. Yeah, no, I feel like an like... 80s lady. Even sometimes like 40s, you know, with the nice big sharp yeah. shoulders. Oh, like that would be really awesome. Great look too. I'm looking for a power suit. Oh. I don't really know what one it looks like, though. What do you think it looks like? The right when one. I bet went back to work, I got a red suit. You did? <laughs> yeah. A statement piece? Yeah, right. It's awesome. But how did you feel? Uh, powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a power suit? I call this a strong bar look, so. That's oh. tailored would be great. This is awesome. So I found my dream power look, a stunning YSL woolen velvet suit but the fit was all wrong. What I needed was a gorgeous iron-haired wizard with seamstress skills like magic to make it all better. My name is Alexandra, and I'm known as the traveling tailor. 
and I specialize in restoration of vintage. Power suit starts with the fit. The fit is everything. It has to fit the person perfectly. I would stay away from really bright colors. Don't do pastels, um, not too much bling. I'll be back. When I buy power suits for myself, they're mostly uh, made in Italy. I try not to buy things made in China. What do you think about this power suit? Mm. <laughs> I try to keep the um, fabrics as natural as possible. They'll last longer. Not only that, they hang better. They wear better. So my question is, is there a certain um, part of your body that you'd like to accentuate? Um, is it your legs, your hips? I would like to shorten it. Okay. As short as it can go. Okay. That, well, what your comfort level is. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't go that short. <laughs> okay. Well, remember, you, it's a power suit. How about so, here? Okay. All right, that's something. The okay. shortest, it's a, uh, the shortest you think it should go. Okay. Self confidence comes from attitude, and when you look in the mirror, if you're looking great, that is completely reflected in your posture. Getting a, a well-made suit and presenting yourself well is you just exude the self-confidence and doors open. My new suit rules. I went to meet Gloria Allred, the notorious civil rights lawyer in her office in downtown LA. Gloria has called out notorious perps on a global stage, represented sexual assault victims, and places a focus on the protection of women's rights. Yep, all those high profile cases, and I'm talking to her about fashion. Knowing how much she loves suits, I brought her a rack of a few pieces to entice her. Thank you for having us in your beautiful office. Thank you for inviting um, me. Of course. We've been doing this uh, episode on power suits, and so obviously we wanted to get you on because you're kind of the leading lady of the power suit. We found this one yesterday at a thrift store and we sent it to this fancy tailor and she tailored it to my body. And I have to say, I feel awesome. Looking good. Yeah, I tried. I tried Have, to show up proper for you. You succeeded. <laughs> Thank you. I've been an attorney for almost 40 years. Juries are known often to discuss how attorneys dress. That's just human nature. That's just the way it is. And so I've always worn suits. Usually red is the power color. Blue is more of a color that people associate with someone who is more credible. I love color. A lot of, uh, I think the women that you represent are kind of already mocked up as either victim, opportunist, some sort of stigma that the other, that the other side is trying to paint them. What are ways that you have been able to kind of flip that on its head? Celebrity men or corporation or government institution who have hurt women and who have an army of highly paid attorneys representing these wrongdoer are going to attack both me and my clients, and they're going to use negative phrases. When they call me names, I know I've won. It's like running through a battlefield where you know, the, everybody's shooting at you, and you just got to try to avoid the bullets and avoid the minefields. Many persons who allege they are victims kept silent for many reasons. Fear, thinking they would be blamed, thinking they would be attacked, and thinking that nobody would do anything about it because he, because Mr. Cosby is rich, powerful, and famous, and they are not. And it's like very scary, and I get that. So we have to work with women to help prepare them how to get through. And if they don't dress appropriately as my clients, that's not gonna help win this battle. You're going to be in front of a camera. I don't want really to see low cleavage. Right. It's a distraction from what they have to say the eyes up. But other than that, you should think about maybe wearing business attire. But they can choose what they're going to wear. I'm sure that you have a huge closet full of suits by now. I have a closet full of suits that I shouldn't wear anymore because they're very <laughs> old and out of style and I wear them anyway. Ordinarily, I'm wearing boots and I'm wearing pantsuits and I love the fact that Hillary wears them because I'm sure she's 
most comfortable in them. When they attack her for her pantsuits, it tells me they don't have any good argument about what she's saying. Right. That's a really sexist thing to do, because when's the last time you heard a man being attacked for wearing a suit? Who are you? Are you the lawyer, or are you the client? I am the client. Did you earn very much? 30 grand a year. I would say don't wear that suit. If you're my client, I would not let you walk into court with a short skirt. Are you going to be arrested? No. <laughs> but, and what about this t-shirt under the... I just really didn't have Am I crazy else? about it? No. And your hair <laughs> absolutely is an absolute no-no for the jury. Well, okay. thanks again for your time. I Thank really you. appreciate it. I'm going to... Appreciate it. Plug my rock All right, so, oh, you're here. not going to leave all the suits? <laughs> if you want them, you can have them. <laughs> all right, thank you so okay, much. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> As I leave Gloria, I can't help but think about how her power suits are both her armor and her weapon as she wins battles in the courtroom. What we choose to wear can define our identity and shift how we feel about ourselves. And as it so happens, power suits, regardless of the situation, allow us to act and feel like a boss. Thank you.